My name is Abigail Sim, and today I would like to speak to you on why grades don't measure intelligence. In our society, students with good grades from tests are considered intelligent or smart. They are put in high performing classes, given better input by the teachers, and are expected to succeed in life. Maybe they really will. So, what happens to the less intelligent? I don't know, but I do know one thing. They may spend the rest of the schooling years feeling unimportant or worse, stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe being intelligent is not about remembering facts well and channel them all in a test. I believe it's more on how a person cultivates his skills in any given circumstances. Let me give you an example. A kid who's never been to school but has been helping out in a vegetable farm would know everything related to planting vegetables, from the sowing to the harvesting. That's amazing, right? But without good grades, Will he still be considered intelligent? Who's going to know? Ladies and gentlemen, everyone has different brains and weaknesses. Some students may do well in certain subjects and less in others. To me, they shouldn't be perceived as being less intelligent due to subjects they may fail to score. If you can't score A in your English, but is good at math, you can choose to be an accountant in the future. You could be good at drawing and aspire to become an artist. If you can score A in science, but can sing or act well, then you can aspire to be the next Dato Siti Nuhaliza. The same goes for those who are gifted in sports. Now, who doesn't know that Li Chong Wei? In saying this, I'm not implying these role models aren't great in academics. But my point is, they are the role models of being successful in things they are good at, regardless of their grades. Today, grades have become so important, especially when we are looking for jobs. This is because most people think that if you have good grades, you are smart. I agree, grades are important, but it is not the way to determine one's intelligence. It can never determine who you are and how you will do in the future. Lastly, before I end, let me quote American author Frank Hubbard. Education is no substitute for intelligence. You and I are born intelligent. You just have to be brave enough to believe and act on it. Forget the grit. Thank you.